All right, here we go. Here we go. We back, man. This is uh, this is the one. This is the big one. This is the one we worked so hard all year long, man. Last year to make it to this is the Red Crest, and we are headed there right now. And I'm in lovely Atlanta. Let me tell y'all something about Atlanta. I, I love Atlanta. Okay, I love Atlanta because you know I'm from I'm from the Bay Area in California. It gives me kind of a vibe of being at home. It's the city, you know. So I feel very comfortable. You know, lots to do here, right? Hang out. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a great place, a fun place. But what ain't fun, and the one thing I don't miss about home that Atlanta got a lot of, is this good old-fashioned traffic, bro. And I'm stuck in it right now. We are trying to make our way to Lake Norman. And it is just wall-to-wall -wall gridlock, bro. And every time I come, let me tell you something about Atlanta. It don't matter if I come through Atlanta at 1 a.m., 5 p.m., 10 at night, breakfast, lunch, dinner, it don't matter, bro. There's always, always, always traffic, bro. It's just part of it, man. So shout out to my folks that live here in the A. I know y'all deal with this every day. I'd lose my mind. I've been living in a little small town, Alabama, in Tuskegee, and now in Shorter, where if there's a traffic low-key, somebody probably done died on the freeway, which RIP to them, but that's like... The only time there's like traffic. I want I never have to worry about traffic. I get anywhere I want to go easily. And I've kind of learned to appreciate and love that. Why are you gonna do me like this? But we should be out of this in the next hour, hopefully. And we can get on up here to Lake Norman, man, and start getting ready, hook back up with the boys. I was just with J Dub. We just left Clark's Hill. We ain't gonna talk about that. But y'all see the video. Uh but it's always good to reconnect with the homies, man. That's something I look forward to. It's weird, man. I, I live with these boys more than half the year. You know, we become like family, bro, honestly. And, uh, you know, it's, it's I look forward to seeing Jacob's kids. You know what I'm saying? Adrian kids, my boy DC. It's it's just like a family on the road, man. These are, these are my boys for real. So looking forward to connecting with the homies, hanging out chatting bsing like we always do trying to figure out what the bites gonna be like blah 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 you know all that good that good fishing stuff man that we all love we'll be doing some of that this week too so yeah hey this is appropriately named get this right here colin zoo atlanta and that is talking about this traffic it's lit i'm doing 20 mile an hour as i'm pumping the brakes Shout out to uh, World Series champs, the Atlanta Braves. That's the only thing positive that comes to my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not this year, but two years ago. I knew they won it, though. Two years ago. Shout out to the Atlanta Braves, two years ago. Y'all won it all. I seen that. But that was the only thing I could think of oh, in the stadiums right there. So I was like, you know, that, there's a positive note that we can take out of this traffic. I can look at the stadium, maybe. I got spotted bass on the brain right now. I gotta try to figure out how we can win this 300 thou. You know what's crazy about the 300,000? Big check, a lot, a lot of money, right? Life changing. But it ain't even about the money. It ain't. That's I know that sounds crazy, man, but it's just not. It is much more about that trophy, man, than anything. And I won't put my hands on that bad boy. Bad. Feet right here. Oh, this. <laughs> hey, that's that's gonna cost you two hundred dollars. Watch your window. <laughs> hey, what about it? Y'all made it. You made it. I, I made it. I don't know how good I did. This is. What's that? 
What's wrong with it? The grass ain't gonna last long with us, bruh. What's gonna be wrong with it? It's gonna, what's gonna be wrong with it? Look at it already. We're only gonna fish it only here for two days. Two nights. Three nights, three, two days. Three nights, Welcome two days. Welcome to the, to the, to the, the Marriott. Yeah, this, but it, it's a good spot. Oh yeah, this big ball in right here. Big time. Yeah, this big ball. I don't yeah. see any landowners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. The last house. Oh, not even oh joking with y'all. It, it it was a. I gotta put the shades on. It was a time, a time. Th those individuals there. They don't like us. Unique. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's they are. If y'all see that freaking Airbnb, all, if you listen, if y'all see that Airbnb in in, in what is it, what's the name of that town? Uh, Kissimmee. No, it wasn't Kissimmee. Was it wasn't Kissimmee? Saint Cloud. Kissimmee. Saint Cloud, wasn't no, it? No, technically it was. The address okay. was Kissimmee. Listen, if you guys see the Airbnb <laughs> address and there's a dang house <laughs> on a lake, Fish Lake, on Fish Lake, and y'all can figure this out. Behind a house, okay, you're behind that. Do not rent it your own risk. Airbnb yeah. that place is your own risk. Hey, yeah, big if, dog. If you're a big. fisherman, that ain't the spot for you. I'm just going. No, I ain't, I'm gonna just call it what it is. If you're a fisherman, you got a, a boat, and you might want to have somebody come by and take some pictures or something, <laughs> or maybe film a YouTube video so you guys can watch. Don't, don't, no. Unless you got several different. $200 increments. Unless you have pay. some cash money that you're willing to pay that is not on the listing at all. It ain't gonna work. Hey, hey, the crazy, the best part of that was like, man, my neighbors are complaining. Man, I need $200. Yeah. Man, how, how, how the, wait, what? Hey, my yeah. neighbors. Your neighbors, bro. You hey, how's $200 gonna help your neighbors? Hey, then I asked them, I said, hey. well, do you, want it, do you want us to give your neighbors $200 or do you need a check? Check, check works. Yeah. All right. Did y'all pay them? Nah, hey. That's why they get the bad review. We, we, we. Hey, listen, we said, yeah, we'll pay you $200. Deuces. <laughs> see you. Woo, woo. Yeah, we I chopped can... our stuff back to the house. Yeah, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> I ain't paying you, Nathaniel. <laughs> hey, yeah, get up out of here, man. They was tripping. I shouldn't have gave her that first 200. I gave oh, her 200 you... the first time. We had just got there. I didn't yeah. want to hear, I didn't well, want to hear nothing. So I just went ahead and gave her the 200 But listen, you guys got to. She ripped us off, man. Mar Mark's a very nice guy. Very nice. Like yeah, more yeah. than I, I, I'm not as nice as Mark. You gotta be straight up with you. I'm not. I'm not close to, I'm not half a nice a person as you are. But, so Mark's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, yeah, throw that money out here. It ain't no big deal. Listen, I, I, not me. Not, but he was trying to be like, keep all the, keep the peace. He's a peacemaker. Keep the peace. It wasn't working though. No, nah, I was not. <laughs> it was, listen. We just started down the rabbit hole. We didn't want to go down. Yeah, the peace the wasn't kept, man. <laughs> the peace is kept. They kept on well, giving it. You know, like a one minute recap of here's what worked, here's what didn't work. Okay. On Kissimmee. Okay. For me and for everybody else. Yeah, but, uh, yeah we'll do two takes. Yeah, ready when you are. Sure. A lot of things I got bit on in practice were still working. You know, the bandito bug was definitely getting some bites. First bite of the day. A little spot. Let's see what he weighs.
180. So that's pound and three quarter. Not terrible. All right, just caught us a real nice one. Lunker log. That's a female fat. She's a solid fish. I'm gonna get a weight on her. She's over three pounds. This is what it's gonna take right here. In my opinion. I'm about to roll my hook in too. We ain't gonna keep doing that. Alright. Yeah. 359. That's a really, really, really big fish. There we go. Alright, let me get her back. might figure something out maybe All right, folks, we out here. This is day two of practice, and it is a chilly morning out here on Lake Norman. Man, uh, yesterday was was weird, man. There's a lot of fish up shallow. There's a few on beds, but there's just a lot of fish meandering around the banks, and you cannot get them to bite for whatever reason. You know, uh, I think they're just getting up there, and it hasn't got quite warm enough for them to got, get real cozy and go ahead and do what they want to do. And so... You know, we out here fishing deep this morning, just trying to change it up and try to figure something else out, man. You know, the spotted bass are the dominant species here, but I saw quite a few largemouth up shallow. So I'm gonna fish out deep, some 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 bridges and some bridge pilings, things like that this morning. And then we're gonna get back up in the shallows and peek around. The problem is first day of the tournament, it's gonna be very cold. So I don't know how that's gonna affect these shallow bass. So. This is going to be an interesting tournament, man. It really is. We got a lot of work ahead of us, though. So I'm going to get back to it. Fire that mercury up. We're going to run around this bad boy until we find him. We got to do it. It has to happen.
Got to pull off some of my old tricks, but I don't even know if that dude will score. They got to be 1-7 this week, so I don't know. Let's see. Plus, we don't need to be weighing these in anyway, but we'll take whatever we can get. Beggars can't be choosers. That's for sure. All right, he's 165, so he's a pound and a half. He would score, but he's a little dude. But he up there spawning. Yes, sir. It's the first first bite this morning fishing. Not what I mean by that is, you know, not sight fishing, not looking. Yeah, so as you guys can see, I got my hooks rolled over, man. I don't want to obviously burn up any fish that I don't have to. I need every little bite that I can get, man. Um, so it makes it kind of difficult sometimes because you can't see what's biting you, but the bite's been tough enough to where I just want to get bites and then they, they'll weigh whatever it is they weigh, man. I, you know, you can't really control that. So we're going to rock with the, we're going to rock with the rolled hooks. Got all kind of cool markings on him, but that's more of what we're looking for right there. That was probably a little better than two pounds, two and a half, two and a quarter. Dude almost looks post spawn. I don't even think he gonna make the grade. That'd be 145. 165. Almost the same as the yellow one. Twins. That's a first. That's a first. That is a first. I hooked my man smack dab in the top of his domage. I'm talking about. That's unbelievable. I mean, as soon as I hooked him, he starts spinning. And I'm like, what's going on? Cat daddy. Hey, it's time, boy. It's time. It's it. It's time for the big show. We put in two days. We, we, I, I drove around for two days. Oh, Norman, bro, she fishing a little bit spicy this week. What, uh, you, hey, what you think? It's a little hairy out there. It's yeah. kind of like, I don't know, I'm going to shake it. I'm kind of worried, low-key. Yeah. It's kind of worrisome. It is. 
But I, you know, man, y'all been, been following the vlogs, man. This 2023 been crazy. But what I love about tournament fishing is every time you launch that boat, it's a new opportunity, man. You just, you don't know what's, uh, what's what lies ahead. 100%. And you got to keep that positive mindset and you got to go into that thing thinking you bought to smash. That's just how you got to think about it. It's very, very easy to uh, get down mentally. Yeah. Especially after a, a tough practice. And it's easy to get down mentally during the tournament when it ain't panning out. It you got to stay positive. I've always said this. We live our life waiting on the next bite. Yeah. How can you not be positive? Right. Real talk. Remember when you was a kid, whenever a bobber went down, you sitting there waiting Ooh. on that bobber? Hey, you're optimistic about that. That bobber, like, what? Oh, what's messing with you? Bloop! And the bobber hey, goes down. Unless you're J-Dub and you got him tied on upside down. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? Ever since you was a kid, you've been waiting, oh, trying I'm, to be optimistic. I'm still, hey, listen. I still love to see a bobber go doink. Oh, I love that. Ain't nothing like it, my guy. I wish I could do that this week with some live bait. Maybe we'll catch more. Oh, definitely. I need some shad. Nah, but we're gonna we're gonna catch some bass tomorrow, man. We're gonna have to. Yeah, I don't care how, it's gonna happen somehow, some way. I see my boy got the look. That's the best. He I'm know what time it is. Best leader line in America. Right in the world, to be honest that with you. That could go that like, way. No, I'm not playing. Like that is not a sales pitch. I'm telling you, that is the top of the line. It is. It is. That goal they way ain't, ain't no joke, bro. It's uh before we had Tasu, which Tasu is also amazing, but if you want to take it just a touch higher to the next level, that gold level, bro. I'll tell you how good it is. I'm putting three hundred thousand dollars on the line, okay. literally. On the line, literally. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If that don't say it, I don't know what to do. All right, man. <laughs> well, that's it for us, guys. We uh, I got tackled the rig. As you see, DC's rigging up already. J does rigging up. Everybody's rigging up. I need to go rig up my crickets too, man. And uh, we got to get out this Airbnb. We move out into the host hotel, put our boats in the boat yard. And uh, yeah, man, it's game time tomorrow. Time to catch them up. I'm excited, even though fishing's been tough.